Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Verge Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the almond stitch, which I am absolutely loving at the moment. This is a delicately textured stitch. It's a fun four row repeat featuring some of my favorite stitches such as half double crochet stitches and slip stitches. Today I'm going to be working this pattern in a little bit of the Pima Cotton Yarn by Lion Brand. It's a 100% worsted weight cotton as well as a 5mm crochet hook. Thank you so much for joining me. While you're here I invite you to subscribe and take a look around. This channel is updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. Our stitch today is worked in rows. You'll start by making a slip knot and then by working a foundation chain. Your foundation chain needs to have a multiple of 8 plus 5 stitches. Today I'm going to chain a total of 21. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you'll begin by working row one with a slip stitch into the second chain from your hook and then into each of the next three chains. So you'll have four slip stitches all together. You're then going to work one half double crochet into each of the next four stitches. Slip stitch into each of the next four stitches. And you're going to repeat that all the way across half double crochet into each of the next four stitches followed by a slip stitch in each of the next four stitches. You'll finish off this row with your four slip stitches in the final four chains. At the end of row one, chain one and turn your work. We're now going to work in the back loop only of every row from here on end. So to find your back loop, looking at the tops of your stitches, you have these nice little V's. The back loop only is that horizontal bar that's the furthest away from you. So you're going to be working inserting your hook under that loop only. So for row two, working under the back loop only, slip stitch into each of the first four stitches, half double crochet into each of the next four stitches, continuing again to work in that back loop only. Next, slip stitch into each of the next four stitches. You're going to repeat that all the way across. At the end of row two, chain one and turn your work. For row three, working in the back loops only, half double crochet into each of the first four stitches, followed by a slip stitch continuing to work in the back loop only in each of the next four stitches. 
you're going to repeat that all the way across, half double crochet, working in each, uh, in the back loop only in each of the next four stitches, followed by a slip stitch in the back loop only of each of the next four stitches. At the end of row three, chain one, turn your work. You're now going to, for row four, repeat row three, working in the back loop only, work a half double crochet in each of the first four stitches. Followed by a slip stitch in each of the next four stitches. Repeat that all the way across. At the end of row four, chain one and turn your work. You should be starting to see that uh, almond pattern and texture coming out now. For here on end for the pattern, you're going to repeat those four rows. So beginning with a slip stitch in each of the first four stitches, you're going to work two rows of uh, beginning with those slip stitches. So slip stitch in the first four, followed by a half double crochet in the next four, and so forth all the way across. You're going to work two of those rows and then for your next two rows you'll work beginning with a half double crochet in each of the next uh, first four stitches and then your slip stitches. And that's all there is to working this pattern. You're going to continue to repeat those four rows for as long as you would like. You can then fasten off and weave in your ends and then enjoy this beautiful almond stitch. So thank you so much for joining me. Once again, I invite you to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.